Hi. In this video, we will continue to create our data structure. Let's look our project. Now we will create a uh, activity table, but first we need to create these two enums. And let's start. I am adding new phase enum. Let's create first work location. I need four elements. First, non and customer remote and office. need to set a uh, label to also we need okay this is Ready. Let's create active status. I need five elements for this one. So I need to set label. Now, enums are ready. Uh, let's create activity table. We need an activity extended activity ID extends dot type for this one. Let's create extends dot type. For this, we can use also string extends dot type. Okay. And I want to change screen size to 12. Okay, it's ready for us. Now I can drag and drop my activity ID to my table and I delete this one. Okay, now I open activity ID. I need a trust date field and I can use this one. And it's actually activity date. Let's change the field's name and also the label of the field. Okay. 
uh, any invoice reason and activity type. I need this extent data type and uh, activity type and an invoice reason, this one. First, let's drag and drop this one. For activity type ID, I need the relation here uh, because I didn't synchronize, probably I didn't synchronize my project fully. Uh, the editor uh, didn't ask me to create default relation, but it's not a problem. You can create new relation from here. Let's create new relation. Choose activity type. Also, data name. Sorry, we need a new normal relation. Field ID, activity type ID, and related field uh, activity type. Okay, it's ready. Let's create this one too. Okay, for example, this one asked me to create a foreign key relation. Uh, yes, I want to create this one. And uh, most of the time I erase this one and uh, this is enough. I didn't, I uh, use this field name uh, with table name. And when I look this field, I understand this is the foreign key relation to uh, an invoice reason, uh, as you can see, okay. I need cost account. Let's use cost account from here. And I need a cost duty ID. Uh, this was a string ID. Let's create directly. And the string size was 30. Okay. We need active status. This is our enum. Let's create this one. And description. and uh, duration, it's a real field. Interesting. Uh, I now do to list ID, okay. It's not due to list ID, we use duty ID for this one. And delete this one too. Uh, let's not create a relation for duty ID and when we create a form, uh, we, we see the automatic lookup uh, will not work. And after that, we will come back this one and create the relation and we will see the effects of the relation. Okay. We need HMA worker rec ID. Okay. okay. And first ID, first ID, and say the work location. This is 
you know. And lastly, invoice duration. Okay, let's, let's duplicate this one. Okay, we complete the table. Let's look at the properties. First of all, uh, this was the must be mandatory. And for example, cost count employee and um, up to type ID, up to date. These are mandatory fields for us. Also, I need to create an uh, index. This is also authentic key. Okay, let's look our uh, This is a transaction table, so I choose uh, this one and I am changing this one and this is a, as I said, is the transaction table. Also, I want to store who created this record and who modified. Okay, now this table is ready. Let's create a reference for activity code. First, I need to select the active reference table. After that, I can select active ID. Okay, now it's almost done. We, we need this table. This is the expense trans. Uh, I, uh, uh, this is related to activities and expense types. Because of that, we, we will create uh, this table at uh, end of this project. Let's create this one too, and we, it, it finish our data structure. Okay, I need activity ID. Create activity ID here. Create a relation to this one. Okay, and amount currency description, amount, currency codes, and description, and last activity expense type ID. Okay, let's delete this one. Okay. Now, these are essential. Let's make it mandatory. And also, I need a new index here.
but this this should not be uh, uh, unique because uh, for one uh, activity I should I I should uh, uh, insert more than one expense so I need to select yes for this index this index only for performance uh, perspective let's create okay Let's choose title fields. Mm. This is also a transaction table, but I I will not change surrogate key mm. and yeah, rec ID index. Okay. Okay, that's enough for this table. Now we completed all data structure. Mm. Let's Okay, now we need to uh, we need to build our project and after that synchronize this project. Uh, let's synchronize. Let's rebuild all our project. Okay, there are some errors. Let's look at these errors. Uh, activity type IDs. Uh, not exist and active type ID exists. Okay. Hmm. I think it's not synchronized. Let's synchronize first and look at these errors later. Uh, I'm synchronizing this. Okay, uh, synchronization is completed. Let's look at our error. And I think the latex field is not coming. Let's look at our reference table again. Okay, let's rebuild. Okay, it's finished and there is no error. Uh, so we uh, finished our data structure, we created our the tables, enums, and exempt data type. Uh, of course, we need to add uh, more uh, feature to our tables. For example, we didn't create the detection or more relations or more index and uh, codes, uh, especially validation or and insert update delete methods, etc. So we will continue to uh, create our uh, user interface after this and uh, when we finish the user interface we will uh, we will create uh, some uh, methods and classes for uh, validation purpose or uh, restriction etc and uh, after that we will create uh, security objects and our project will be finished thank you for watching i hope it helps uh, happy daxing uh, happy